Okay. Um, a bit more of a series. Yeah. Also, uh, a little bit of a different setup. Got my new microphone, so uh, I'll be listening after I'm here. Yeah. Oh, well, it does. Do. Yeah, it does. Have it set on my stomach there. Um. It or whatever. Oh, it's stuck on my sleeve. Um, yeah, I think yeah. the swivel table that I got here probably best. Um, kind of replacement is just, uh, just had to up and uh, yeah. So, um, YouTube has rolled out new. OS. I know this is definitely affecting in America. I uh, don't know about other countries. Um, so far, it's in America, and I, I doubt they went out to other countries, such as England. So, new TOS. Yes. Um, most important thing about it, and now we're going to out here. Is the fact that YouTube will now be putting ads on videos that can that don't have ads on them, but not pay the creators. Now this is really bad and screws over in multiple ways. Um, main way being um that uh, what we're going to talk about well two way two big ways it screws up. I'll be talking. About. Firstly, um, I'll be talking about small creators, how it screws us over, and um, how it even screws over some bigger creators. Um, so, how this screws over smaller creators. So, but, um, it used, if you didn't know, all you, uh, the old way of getting, um, being a YouTube partner and getting ads on your video, was to have 100 subscribers. Um, I think I was about, um, about somewhere between probably 90, I want to, I want to say 80 or 90 subscribers, but um, definitely above 50, um, and I want to say close to um, subscribers when this, uh, but I can't remember exactly what my subscriber account back then was, um, a while back now, um, YouTube changed it so you had to have 1,000 subscribers, and 4,000 hours of watch time that past three days. Um, and again, I wasn't really sure about it because uh, I never really started YouTube to make money. Um, if I started YouTube to make money, I would have started off with a capture card. Like, if you go back to my old. Um, my, uh, my first, like, let's play of a, of a video game, I think it was. Mario Galaxy 2, I want to say, the first one. Um, but I know, but I like, know if you go back to the early ones, so like Galaxy 2, Star Fox Adventures, Mansion. Um, if you go back to those videos, I did not have a capture card. So if I wanted to make money on, because I would have started off with a capture card, that way I would hit the. If I started making um, now as just a hobby for fun. Um, and it, uh, I'm still doing that, and that's how, and that was my mentality back then. I'm just doing it. So I didn't really care that if um, it changed from 100 to 1,000 plus and added 4,000 hours of watch time in a month. Because um, I wasn't too bothered about monetizing, but I didn't know. Um, it was quite a controversial uh, thing because of the basically me and a lot of channels, all channels that had 100 subscribers and had the ads on their videos. Just had that taken away from them, and uh, I do kind of get why they were about it. But at, in the end, at, at the end of the day, the, it's not like they were making billions of uh, money uh, um, from their videos. Because even and I have one hundred subscribers, and I only get like anywhere between two to ten um, views. Go on average. Um, actually, if I I'm gonna let's see. Uh, 
my recent. Um, so live streams, uh, Jurassic World is part one, uh, live stream, four views, Pokemon Sword Fight Battles, that was five views, uh, Pokemon Sword Fight Battles, that was eight, live stream before, that was seven, Just live stream before, that was Reggie, and, uh, oh, Reggie Gigas one actually really well with, uh, all three parts having ten, well, two of them having ten views and one of them having eleven views, um, uh, the biggest standouts here is um, Smash Bros. Direct live reaction with 164. Um, and Shiny Pikachu. Well, I wasn't even there. I was basically keeping away Shiny Pikachu uh, through the Max Raid battle. So, yeah, 58. Bad there, uh, but. And my uploads. Uh, unboxing the Mario 35th anniversary game and watch. I actually got that up really early because um, I live in the UK and uh, I got it decent early. I think the only, only it mainly tree that I've got it earlier would have been um, what do you call it? Where we sent where we sent all of our, our prisoners, um, Australia. Uh, the only other mainly like know of that we've got it earlier would um, a joint smash bros up. Of you, uh, thank you for service. Was uh, I'm back up. How fast uh, is my quad spawn? Not fit. Uh, mark of the ninja uh, uh, for sessions. I view simulate. Uh, how to use ah, how to use Tinder base and Intellion with a hidden ability. All of you. Uh, ooh, what's this? Uh, oh yeah, Minecraft texture pack, no updating, so on, and how to fix it. Got six. So, apparently I got a dislike. Three dislikes, like, actually. Me showing how to fix a glitch with Minecraft texture some. Um. Yeah. Um. On the most part, I don't get any views. I'm lucky if I can crack 10, uh, get above 10. Um, on average, I get like 1 to 4. So, you know, even if I had the ability to have ads on my now, I wouldn't take in more. Um, so, I've never really bothered, that bothered about it. And the the one thing that um really made me like really made me not care like at, in the slightest about it was the fact that they justified it by saying um that it basically they basically need to do it because um they couldn't it to you know um reliably you know um check to see if uh, you know each of these channels with a hundred subscribers um had was not posting anything that was, you know, um, not advertiser friendly, and uh, not basically uh, have a lot of um, you know, false you know, demonetization. Um, because there's only so far uh, AI can go. Hello, doing. You no. Know? Anyway, um, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. You know. If, if, uh, it means, if, you know, me not being able to monetize my videos until I get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 views, uh, to basically mean that this keeps YouTube, uh, from going down the shitter, uh, because advertisers will advertise on the YouTube because they can uh, demonetize, reliably demonetize, uh, advertiser friendly videos, uh, without just, like being a bit too um ha having a bit big of a you know and without uh, demonetizing videos that are advertiser friendly but yeah no sure it's not a big problem um but now that point is completely invalid because they were monetizing all videos anyway and they're not paying anybody that can that hasn't monetized videos in Smaller YouTube creators 
can't monetize videos, um, they're not getting a penny. They don't see the slightest bit of anything from YouTube for no matter how many views they get. They, they, they could get, I could make a video tomorrow and it could be ultimate Omega Doom viral. Like literally every person on the planet could be watching the video all day, every day, you know, for the next 365 days or whatever, for the next year or five years or whatever. If I don't get 1,000 subscribers or, and, you know, from that video or, you know, right by that, then, then YouTube would still have ads on them, on that video, and all those people would still be watching ads. But I would not see a penny of that. Like, seriously, this is the YouTube equivalent of being paid in exposure. Like, at least, at the very least, set up a little tab so like, you can be like, um, channels with, uh, uh, you know, like, sub 100, uh, uh, sorry, sub 1000 uh, subscriber uh, friending. So like, um, channels that to have sub 1000 subscribers, um, you highlight some of the videos from those creators that get the most views, so, views and it's like all of them so you have the number one video from a channel with less than 1000 subscribers at the top and then you go down and the, the, you know then you get views and it uh yeah, then i would uh, then you you know that would be like okay this isn't too bad because then um then i met they may be making money off my videos when i can't but at least they are giving me more exposure so I can get to 1,000 subscribers and 40,000 hours of watch time a month more easily. But no, they're not doing that. Uh, and then, you know, they make uh, money off my videos. No, they can't do that. And um, one big draw of um, small channels is that you can't, because they can't monetize their videos, you don't get ads. So a lot of people who don't like ads don't want to use ad blocker because um you know they have some sort of uh moral um problem with it um or don't have the money to pay for premium they watch a lot of like uh sub 1000 subscriber channels um and to avoid ads and but now that entire niche is now gone because of YouTube. And again, creators are not seeing a single penny of that. So that's basically how this screws over smaller creators. Now let's get on to how it screws over bigger creators. So, um, something bigger creators tend to do is talk about the, um, topics that truly matter to them, like, are, uh, like, deep to their, you know, close to their heart, something they truly and honestly care about, and they don't want ads on but it, like, mental health, suicide, um, coming out as gay, straight, bi, trans, etc. You know, they don't want to monetize those videos, because they're making them out of the goodness of their hearts, and the because it's a subject they truly and honestly care about. But now, YouTube is going to put a monetization on those videos and not give the creator a penny. Which, by fuck, you know that's gonna like, outrage a lot of people. Like, seriously. Forcibly monetizing videos talking about mental health and not giving the creator a single penny. How did YouTube think that was going to go down well with anybody? Like, seriously. YouTube, like, um, recently, I don't know, I don't think this would have been sent out to uh, non-content non creators, but I was in um, YouTube studio, just like, look, just checking, okay, Comments, just 
do, seeing how everything's doing. Um, and I noticed uh, while I was checking the comments, YouTube had, had this little bar on the top of the thing, just like asking me, asking creators to um, fill out a survey. And literally, I shit you not. Um, one of the like one of like the questions was, um, from one to ten, how would you rate your confidence in YouTube? And I was like, zero. Well, no, it wasn't one to ten. It was like disagree, uh, disagree slightly, either agree or disagree, be slightly or strongly or that kind of thing. Um, and I put strongly disagree, and it's like, why do you strongly disagree? Uh, why why do you not have any faith in YouTube? And it's like, and I literally put in there. Because in the past, you, YouTube has uh, been known to screw over content creators, such as the Yogg's cast. Um, and those are the first that came to mind. mind and um, you know, and um, also, uh, like I was mentioned earlier, um, I didn't put the thing survey, but they've also screwed over um, content creators that made videos about like coming out and all that because you know, they were. Uh, labeled as non advertiser friendly and demonetized. Uh, not, you know, again, not that they wanted to be monetized, but they were also suppressed. So, yeah, YouTube has had a history. I basically said, YouTube has had a history with screwing over content creators. And I do not have any faith in YouTube to not screw over, screw me over in the future. Like, I literally filled that survey out like a couple of weeks ago before this was, um, I just gonna get out of my eyes before the TOS first came out, and it's like I wonder if YouTube just looked at that and it's like, hmm. So you don't trust us to not screw you over? Let's screw you over. Um, I, I I'm joking a bit there, but it's just. I don't know if it's irony or cool. Yeah. yeah. Coincidental that. I don't know. I don't know how long it would have taken them to write out these TOSs. So if this TOS now, you know, they started planning after. Um, you know, after. Uh, I put that out, then I guess that would be irony, because ironic that I make that st I make that statement directly to YouTube themselves, and then they uh, plan this out and plan these TOSs out and release them. But if they started planning these TOSs before that survey, then it's um. I believe I think that's how that. Maybe I don't know, but basically, it's just funny. But not funny. It's it's depressing. But funny. It's like it's a bit funny, but it's mostly depressing. Um. Yeah. Um. But let me know. Um. Do you think YouTube should forcibly use? Um. Like. They still they still cost money to post, but uh, they should still pay the creators for the effort to make it in the first place. Um, or you know, where do you just let me know down in the comments below. Um, and let me know, do you uh, if you're a content creator or even just a viewer, do you plan on like changing because of this? Do you plan on changing your uh, main um, video or live stream experience to a different website um, because I currently stream on YouTube uh, at least once every day as you um, and um, I don't want to stream on Twitch because I mean have you not seen what happened to um, what do you call him um, Dr. Disrespect I like seriously, they picked off their biggest creator without a word to him or anybody about it, or after, and we we still 
do not know what that was all about. So, yeah, I have, while I have no confidence in YouTube not screwing me over, I have confidence that Twitch will screw me over. Um, for the slightest misstep, so, um, I, that's why I don't pitch. But I might look into other websites that I can, uh, maybe, uh, gonna go through with OS. Um, anyway, I will see you guys. Uh, in the next video, uh, there's a Discord link down in the description, uh, so whatever I do, I'll um, notify everybody there. Like, uh, you might want to join it just in case I do switch to another um, website for streaming. I can be like, uh, at everybody, I'm now streaming on here now. Um, I'm streaming. And whatever I decide to do. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.